So I'm ridiculously late. I have to be work in about five minutes and I'm super excited. Today's a really exciting day, but it's all been a bit spoiled and it's pretty much all Simo's fault. And I'm gonna explain why in just a minute. Normally I would be explaining to you guys all of this on my GoPro, but that's at Simo's place because I just got back from Xiaoguan uh, drinking and eating with a bunch of riders. How is like to go pursue other women. <laughs> so he changed his name. Whatever the case. <laughs> <laughs> And he has the GoPro because he has to compile all the footage, which he's not gonna do because now he's in Shenzhen filming some garbage with Winston, I don't know. I'm ridiculously tired because I've had a month off work for Chinese New Year and I have not fixed my sleeping schedule at all. But that doesn't really matter because I'm still just super excited to see my kids. Now, there's been a lot of changes to the school since I last uh, updated you guys. And one of those changes is the school's actually moved to a golf course. Yeah, I'm not joking. So the school has moved from one end of the city to the other end of the city, and then that place has now moved to a golf course closer to my home. Which sounds ridiculous, and it is. I haven't seen the school yet because I didn't go to any of the meetings that I was supposed to go to because I was too busy um, riding in the mountains in the Santana with Simo. Those videos are gonna come out soon, it's just that I don't have time with Seamilk to edit them yet, but they will be out. Um, but yeah, I, I basically couldn't go to the meeting, so I couldn't see the school. I have no idea, I don't even know where it is. But I'm gonna go find it, apparently it's on a golf course. I don't know what to expect. When people say that China is a bizarre, strange place, they're not lying. Like, this doesn't even surprise me. I don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna go check that out. See the kids again. Really excited. Again, I have to be working like, I don't know, three minutes now, so I gotta rush. You know that level of fatigue where it's like your voice goes a whole octave lower or a whole note lower? That's that's where I'm at right now. I'm so tired. So again, I wish I could tell you this on the GoPro because Seamok has that I can't, but it really is on a golf course because why not? Because China, that's why. So I wanted to say hi to all my kids, I miss them so much and I wanted to film it, but then I realized that half of my kids don't even go to this school anymore apparently. So I've got a lot of new students and you might be thinking, wow, Prazi, you're sitting in that really nice house. Yeah, nope, it's my classroom. Let me show you around this place. So this place is really huge and we're gonna get to the fact that it's ridiculous that I'm on a golf course in a minute. I'm also gonna ap apologize for my appearance. I spent way too much time last night with these Russians and Brazilians, and it just didn't, I was up too late. But um, yeah, uh, so it's a house. Over here we have our living room. So basically this is gonna be the area where I guess I'm gonna watch movies and stuff with the kids, got some wicked comfy couches, whatever. Um, and then on the other side of the room, we've got the classroom where the kids actually sit and do the work. And I've got my whiteboard that they've set up over here. And uh, so the classroom is basically split like this in half in the middle here. So I'm gonna have to set some ground rules. Okay, pretty cool. Um, and then when I turn around, we have, because again, you guys have to remember, this is a house that's been converted into a classroom. That means we have our own bathroom, which is pretty sweet. This place is nicer than my own house. Western toilet, we got a shower, it's just like a house. So that's pretty crazy. And then, back here, I've got my own office. What, what? That means I have this whole place, let me turn on some lights in here. I have this whole place completely to myself, away from the kids where I can get work done. Again, it's a mess right now. I haven't, I've literally just got here, so nothing's set up. But I've got my own office. This is insane. So every classroom has their own house. Um, also behind me here is there's a second floor. There's an upstairs, but I uh, We're not allowed up there. I'm gonna go see what's on the second floor even though they said we're not allowed up there So we're gonna figure out What's going on upstairs? I think a lot of the high school is gonna be using this to live in it But it looks like a lot of bedrooms, so I think maybe staff would live up here Let's see. Again, I wish I could give you guys a better tour, but I've never been here before. So it's a bedroom. 
with three beds. This is crazy. Like, look, there's a, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a golf course behind me where people are like playing a little 18 hole or something with their buddies. It's so strange. Like I could actually live here. I don't need a home. <gasps> is this a bathroom? <laughs> there's a whole outside area where I've got a view of the pool the swimming pool that we obviously have, because obviously my kids are out here doing PE on the basketball field, because we have our own private basketball field, because obviously. You guys get lunch delivered so to lunch. the door. Like, don't even have to go anywhere, just get delivered to the door. Do you guys, do you guys like our new, our new house? Do you guys like our new house? Yes! Uh-huh. Do you like it more than a classroom? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's crazy that we're on a golf course? Yes, yes! So each one of these little houses is actually a classroom. So that's my my villa, my little classroom that I get to have. Okay, we have a house. You don't care that we have a house? No, I so love this house because this is just a hotel. It's like a hotel, a house hotel. And then literally right here is you have the golf course, which is so weird to see in China. And there's people playing golf. Focus, not on the fence. Very, very strange. And then that's our school. Literally, it's like paradise. I don't think I like even have words to explain to you like how happy I feel to be back at work and being with the kids. Like, it's just this level of like fulfillment you get from, from working, you know? I hated being on break. It was really annoying. But this place is paradise. It's so weird. I'm working in a resort. It's like amazing. The kids love it. I'm really happy here. It's don't get me wrong, really weird. It is a golf course, but it's so, it's just, it's nice. It's really nice here. I can't believe we, we, we got a house for the kids. <laughs> it's so weird to say that. We even have a pool, granted it's green behind me. Check this out. Nice clean pool, which I am never putting the kids in ever because that looks disgusting. I mean, basically my lease is up pretty soon in my apartment and uh, I kind of want to live here, and then I can just come downstairs and it's work. It'd be brilliant. I also wonder, because like, I don't know a lot about golf, but I imagine, <clears throat> you know, you want quiet when you're playing the game. And then you get to this part of the course, and you just get my kids that are over here, like, screaming and going crazy and playing. That must be horrible for the golfers. I don't want to be a flower. I want to be a dragon. No, you can be a flower. You can be the biggest bee. I want to be the. You want me to be the biggest bee? Yes. You can be a flower. Like there's the big bee in there. So today is already over. It went by pretty quick. Um, but you know, I think that's because we were so excited to see each other, and I was really busy because you know the kids forget everything, and so <laughs> drilling it back into their heads is really, really hard. But today was amazing. It wasn't polluted like it was this week. It was beautiful. Yeah, I only got three hours of sleep, but man, I'm liking working here <laughs> a lot. Um, I know a lot of people were commenting on my, you know, moving to Japan, maybe. It's just a thought. I mean, I'm actually gonna do it. Um, but definitely feeling a lot better now that I'm back to work, for sure. So how badly does everyone miss me? You miss me so much you want to kick my butt. How much do you miss me? Uh, so miss. So miss? You don't even know me. <laughs> David, how much do you miss me? So, 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 miss. All right, let's get our stuff ready for home. Gonna have to say goodbye to our first night at the house. 